Hi, I'm Josh Dines, an orthopedic surgeon at Hospital for Special Surgery, here with former number one tennis player Jim Currier, and we're at the new HSS Sports Medicine Institute on the west side. Jim, thanks for being here. So obviously you've had an outstanding career as a tennis player. By 23, I think you'd been in the, basically every major final, had won a couple of majors already, which is impressive, and you've stayed in great shape, but clearly there were some bumps along the way. You've been a patient at HSS for uh, years. I've been coming to HSS on and off since the 90s, when I was right in the heyday of my career for wrist issues, shoulder issues, arm issues, back issues. Every athlete uh, that pushes themselves is going to have bumps in the road, and, and I've always relied on HSS to make sure that they'd get me back out there. And, uh, and they've done an amazing job over the years doing that. We've known each other for a long time and, and a great working relationship and friendship. I think the Davis Cup was really one of the kind of highlights of my career in terms of you know medicine and, and team sports coverage. And it, it was a great experience. What, was there anything that you saw like, that makes kind of a team sport in tennis different than when you're playing as an individual? Well, tennis is an individual sport, except for when we play Davis Cup and having you on the team as our doctor gave our guys great confidence. And obviously they came to see you here in New York when they had problems or gave you a call, but you just don't wanna to have to wonder where should I go for help? Especially when this is your livelihood. When I had some major shoulder trouble, I, I ended up doing all of my rehab with HSS for six months, you know, and it becomes like a family for you as well because you're, you're there, they're committed to you, you're committed to getting it right, so um, it's important to, to have that resource. You raised a great point that HSS is a place you can trust, and I think that was really the impetus for this West Side Center where under one roof you've got a performance center right behind us, physical therapy, ORs, our offices all with people who have a focus on professional athletes, and, and not just professionals, but college athletes, recreational athletes, everybody who wants to continue playing their sport. Uh, and I think this is becoming really a great sort of destination for those pa people or patients. You're still playing in the Invesco Series Tour. You play a lot of golf, a lot of tennis still. What are you doing to train and stay fit? Yeah, so for me, um, a lot of it is focused around, I wanna maintain my cardio. I need to maintain cardio. What happens as you age is you, you certainly lose speed, but you don't wanna lose your cardio. So I do a lot of, of spin biking, which is non-pounding on my body, which is great. And I certainly play a fair bit of tennis to stay with it. And that's where I get my speed training, just moving, doing two-on-one -on -one drills on the court. And I do a little bit of weight training, not to add muscle, but just to maintain what I have right now. And, and there's a fair bit of fork and knife control at my age as well that's necessary. So one of the things that's been interesting in my life is having retired from the ATP Tour at the age of 30, but still competing for many, many years after that in the Champion Series is how do I attack my passion for tennis when my body is changing and evolving and how do I evolve with it? So that's one of the things that I've had to, to meter down because I have a, a tendency to go hard and going hard is not the answer when you're 48 years old. That's critical for all patients because a lot of people have played a lot of sports and I think it's about being smart in terms of, you know, they still want to be active, which they can be and we want them to be, but I think it's really gets back to their training. You need to train for the extremes if you're an athlete, right? Make sure that you have those bases covered. My extreme used to be potentially five hours of tennis. Now my extreme is about two hours of tennis, so I can train accordingly.